Hello and very warm welcome. Today's video is about the grip, something that every snooker player is very conscious of and it should be because the grip is very important part of your technique. This is your cueing hand. The grip is actually taking care of the shot. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about that there are two types of grip, the pressure grip and the timing grip. And I received many comments to give a little bit more details about them grips and how they're working. So you have the pressure grip, that's the grip that Ronnie O'Sullivan, Mark Williams, Jack Lisowski are using. And you have the timing grip. This is the type of grip that Neil Robertson and Judd Trump are using. Sean Murphy, he is probably mixed about the pressure grip and the timing grip. Remember that you can find your natural grip with just picking up the cue from the table. And that's it. Not overthinking about it and not getting into every little detail because that can get in your head and then your mental toughness could be not so good. The pressure grip, the Ronnie O'Sullivan type of grip, allows you to follow through more. We're going to have a look in details how it's working. And the timing grip allows you to use the wrist a little bit more so you get the power from the wrist, exactly how Neil Robertson is striking the ball. We're going to see the details of these two types of grips now. So this is the pressure grip. You're actually using just two fingers of them all. You use the middle finger and the ring finger. So this is the base of the grip, just these two fingers. The other fingers, they are on the cue, but they don't do almost nothing. So this is the, the grip. If you remember Alex Higgins, he was keeping his pointing finger pointing down on the shot because he was not using that finger. Ronnie O'Sullivan, he just puts that finger on the cue, but that finger is doing nothing. The little finger doing nothing. The thumb almost out of the, out of the grip. So that's the pressure grip with the middle finger and the ring finger. That's how you grip the cue. The pressure grip allows you to follow through more. I'll demonstrate this on some shots and you'll see how the grip is changing on the backswing and on, on the delivery. The timing grip, the grip that Neil Robertson is using, it is 80% with the thumb and the pointing finger. Good ring here. The skin touches the cue and the thumb and the pointing finger are in contact with the cue, surrounding the cue in a very solid manner. This is the base of the grip. This is 80% of the timing grip. The other three fingers, they're very relaxed because you have to open them a lot to get the wrist into the shot. If you don't open them, then your cueing hand will not be working very well. So that's why the timing grip, because the timing grip does not allow you to follow through a lot. If you play with the timing grip, you have to be playing more like Neil Roberts and Judd Trump, and you have to use lots of wrist to get the power into the shot with the timing grip. And that's why the middle finger, the ring finger, and the little finger are doing almost nothing. They're very relaxed. So this allow you to open the hand and to get the wrist into the shot. As you can see on the pressure grip, on the back swing, you don't use much wrist. You don't use a lot of wrist. But, um, but how the pointing finger is changing on the follow through allows you to follow through more and to keep the cue leveled. The cue is not moving a lot 
from the horizontal line. With the timing grip, which is not allowing you to follow through a lot, you have to use lots of wrist. So the, the, these three fingers are very relaxed and they go, they go back, the wrist goes back, look at the knuckles, and then when you hit the ball, you stop your hand into the chest and that's the timing grip which have to be with lots of wrist. The big difference between the timing and the pressure grip is the length of the follow through. So if you have decided what length of follow through is working better for you, that may help you to choose the right grip for you. I'll play a few shots here around the black and pink area with the two types of grip to see how the overall technique is changing depending what type of grip you're using on the different shots. So I'll play a few shots with the timing grip to see how it's working. I'll be using lots of wrist on the backswing and when I hit the ball I'll stop my hand into the chest. This is how the timing grip is working. I'll show you powerful screw back with the timing grip. Again, lots of wrist. The power comes from the wrist. When you hit your chest, you stop the cue. Now I'll show you a few shots with the pressure grip. And because the pointing finger is not taking any action into the shot, this will allow you to follow through more and to keep the cue on the same level horizontally, almost the same level, but pretty much the same level. So now try to see how I follow through and how the pointing finger is changing its position. Now a powerful shot with the pressure grip. Again, see how the fingers are changing on the follow through because I'm not using the pointing finger. It is on the cue, but it's not taking any action. See how the hand finishes the difference in the two fingers which are taking uh, action in the, in the shot and the pointing finger which is changing its position. Remember that there are two types of grip. Many players are getting obsessed about Ronnie O'Sullivan and they're trying to play with the pressure grip. They're not feeling well with it, they're missing balls and so on and so on. So remember that the timing grip is also a very well working grip. New rollers and jet trump, they're playing with the timing grip. So you have to decide what is working better for you. Me personally, I use the pressure grip because it allows me to follow through more. This is the biggest difference between the two grips, the follow through. With the timing grip, you stop the hand into the chest. With the pressure grip, you can follow through more. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe and share and see you next time.